What is up, Instagram and probably Facebook? I'm probably gonna post this on Facebook as well. Um, real quick, I kinda wanna talk about possession. A lot of people in the paranormal field are terrified of going into a location and getting possessed. Now, I think the fear of this is basically, I mean, mainly because of Hollywood, of course, we get that, you know, with the Annabelle doll, the Conjuring movies, which I believe is the same thing, they just branched it out. Um, and, you know, Amityville Horror, you know, movies, movies like that, that just cause possession, the possession of, you know, Emily and all that fun stuff, right? Here's what I want to talk about. Possession is, if you look up the word possession, correct? It's ownership of something. Now here's where I want to get a little bit deeper than that, okay? The vessel that we're in, my skin, my, my fingers, my, my skin, my lips, my teeth, my eyes, everything, right? That you have, I have, this is our vessel. Now, in order for our vessel to work, there's a spirit, there's energy within us allowing me to speak. It, it allows my voice box to move. It allows my lips to move. It allows me to move my fingers, blink really fast, and, and, and my Tourette's, because I do have Tourette's. I'm sure you guys have noticed that already with my tics. But think about this. If possession is ownership of something, possession, our vessels are already under ownership of a spirit of our spirit. That's why when people go to locations, what they're doing is is they're hearing the voice of the dead, that 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 entity, that spirit, right? They just no longer have a vessel. So they're not possessing anything. They don't have anything. But to sit there and be like That's my Tourette's right there. If you just if you just saw what I did, that's my Tourette's doing that. Um where was I? Possession, guys, is not necessarily evil. I think Hollywood made it that way to put fear in things because it sells. Your favorite TV shows, Ghost Adventures, Paranormal Lockdown, uh, Portals of Hell, all these shows, horror sells. Demons sell. If they had a show where they're just going around with light meters, which is what they all do, but they're trying to find the little girl of Sally wearing a white dress in every episode. That's not entertaining. What's entertaining is possession, is evil, is grr, all that shit. You know what I mean? But stop and think again, guys. You're already possessed. Your, your vessel is under ownership of a spirit. And when you die, your vessel falls, your spirit wanders wherever it is it wanders to something it stays where it does or it gets buried goes to heaven whatever the case may be whatever your beliefs are on that needless to say your body is no longer in a possession state owned by your energy your spirit that's why it falls effortlessly and lifeless because it's no longer owned so to think that you're so terrified of being possessed, like, oh my God, I can't go into this location and I can't do certain things because I'm gonna get possessed. Think about it, guys. You're already possessed. Something is already has ownership of you. That's it. Like when you die, let's just say you're possessing Waverly Hills. Not possessing, I'm sorry. Let's just say when you die, your spirit goes to Waverly, correct? If I go do an EVP session and I document your voice, it's because the energy isn't trapped into a vessel. Yeah, it's trapped inside of Waverly, but it doesn't mean that it possesses Waverly. It's not trying to possess your energy or your spirit. Your vessel's already possessed. Like, let's think even, I wouldn't say deeper than that, because that, that really, to me, wasn't that deep. But when have you ever seen an exorcism live when have you ever been witness to one you never have nobody has and that's because a lot of the churches will say well i have i've done these i've done this well you know and i've talked to some um priest who said that they have done exorcisms before but what they're going to tell you is they're doing them because the individual believes that they're possessed of something and that belief is almost a 
It's almost like you you have to believe first that you can accomplish your dreams, right? You believe it so hard, you put it into the atmosphere, it's there, the law of attraction. If you believe something so strong, so powerful, you're gonna bring that energy to manifest. So if you believe you are truly possessed by something so dark, your mannerisms are gonna change, your words are gonna change, your actions towards others are gonna change. So that's why a lot of priests will actually ask you, do you believe you're possessed? Because they're not gonna make that assumption. And honestly, there's no paranormal investigator out there that will ever say that they have witnessed an exorcism. And if they have, I have no idea why they did not sneak a camera in. Why didn't they just get a little GoPro? It's because it never happened. You never saw it. And to get back on topic, guys, is, I'm sorry, I do that a lot. I kind of ramble off topic a little bit because I have so much in my head that I can just go on about the paranormal with theories, with um, ideas, with a lot of things. And, and, and you guys are gonna be um, inside of my head hearing it all because I'm gonna express a lot of it you know, for the rest of my life on Instagram, on social media, on the YouTube, guys. I'm just gonna keep building this platform more and more and more. Um, but let's get back to it, guys. Long story short, you're already possessed. My energy, my spirit is right here trapped within my vessel. My personality is my spirit. That's why others have a different personality. That's why others have different different attitudes. You know, you're good, you're bad. It's because you're, you're already possessed with an entity, okay? So stop worrying about you're gonna get possessed and all this crazy shit. If anybody's ever gonna get possessed, trust me, if you've seen my investigations, it would be me. I ask for it, I do the most craziest, the most unorthodox, the most probably intense shit you have ever seen in an investigation.